never taken a trip to Paintsville. Now's the time. In addition to the beautiful fall colors you can see along the way, there are plenty of hidden treasures. And now Paintsville is working to become a certified trail town. To talk more about it is Tia Campbell, Executive Director of Paintsville Tourism. Welcome. Glad to have you in today. Thank you so much for having me. Well, Very exciting. Uh, tell us about uh, what a certified trail town is and why Paintsville wants that designation. Well, we have what will be when it's completed, the longest rail to trail project in the state of Kentucky. It's called the Dawkins Trail. And we want to become a certified trail town just so that we can become an outdoor adventure tourism destination. You know, there's so many beautiful things in Paintsville. We have one of the prettiest lakes, you know, so we want to just build on what we have. The Dawkins Trail, we want it to become a certified trail town do kayaking with it, zip lines, it's just the beginning, you know? Well, what do you think it'll do for Paintsville and also sur the surrounding area? Absolutely. You know, we work very closely with Floyd County, Pike County, Lawrence County, Martin County, Leslie County, Breathitt County. We, everyone nearby, we kind of do a combination and say, what do you guys got going on? You know, if it's the Hatfield McCoys, if it's mm -hmm. Jenny Wally Theater, or if it's Loretta Lynn's Home Place, if we have that Dawkins Trail, which starts in Paintsville and goes through three other counties, it actually right now extends into McGoffin County. When it's finished, it'll go into Breathitt County. All right. Well, what are some of the steps you're taking to, to try to get to that designation? Well, of course, it's a process with anything, yeah. and normally it takes about two years to become a certified trail town. But we're kind of on the fast track, and I would imagine by late spring, early summer, we'll be a certified trail town. Now, we've uh, partnership with EKU, one of the professors there. He brought a bunch of students to kind of do phase one during Apple Day, which we just completed, uh, to do surveys with people. They had to do... Uh, 400, they actually completed about 600. So, uh, of course, we'll get reports back on what people wanted most to come to Paintsville and what was the best attractions while they were there. And that's kind of phase one of us becoming a trail town. So right now, Apple Day is already over. What are the, the best things if somebody called you right now and said, I'm coming this weekend, what would you tell them? Oh, gosh, I would say, do you want to be outside, which it's October, and like I said, it's the most beautiful time of year in Paintsville. I would say, let's go on the Dawkins Trail. You can horseback ride. You can take a bicycle. You can go hiking. So really, any level, you can, you can do something on the Dawkins Trail. It's got beautiful trestles and of course the tunnel is really cool because of course it used to be a, a railroad so all the natural beauty is still there it takes you right through nature and of course you can do Loretta Lynn's home place a tour of that we have the US 23 Country Music Museum we are on the US 23 Country Music Highway so if you're looking to see live music every Thursday night we have front porch picking and of course we have a golf course that's beautiful we have um, one of the longest um, actual bridges it, you know what I think? You better be planning on staying for more than just a weekend. I know, there's so much there is to do. so much going on. Yeah. Sounds great. People ask me what's there to do, and I'm like, well, how much time do you have? Yeah. Because there's well, it sounds so great. Much. People yeah. just have to come it's see wonderful. you there in Paintsville. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you for coming in. Good luck with thank the, uh, the trail. Thank you. Yeah. Come, come visit. I'd love to take you for a tour. We'll do it. Thank I'll you. We'll take you up on it. And keep